Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. What am I think? What am I think? You're listening to Popeye News Links. This is the Admiral Tibet who I represent. And remember, the time is so serious. Contankerous and dangerous. This is Popeye News Links. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. Remember to order your Christmas fruit cakes and Sorrel now from Miss Joy. Miss Joy, she has one pound fruit cakes for $2,500 and two pounds for $3,500. You can also get three pounds for $4,500. But they are done to order. Get your one liter Sorrel for only $800 and remember that Miss Joy, although she's based in Montego Bay, she will have your cake and sorrel delivered to you. Just call our WhatsApp 876 848 0685 or 876 461 8355. Call our WhatsApp Miss Joy right now. You will not be disappointed. Trust me upon that. Now, in today's journey, we are still in the parish of St. Mary. Remember, we are heading to Hope Bay in the parish of Portland. Continue to sit back, continue to relax, and continue to enjoy this journey with me. In the news today, this one took place last night. Tuesday, November 14, about minutes after 7 o'clock. It took place at New Works in the parish of Westmoreland. We are told that residents of the area, they saw fire and smoke coming from a one-bedroom boardhouse and they called the police. The fire department, they were contacted and when they arrived on the scene, the house and its contents were completely destroyed by fire. The fire personnel, they were only able to do cooling down operations. No one was injured in this fire. We are told that an investigation is being done to ascertain what could have caused this fire. Sad indeed. In this next story, now, read the accident at Bluefields where five persons died. There were actually six passengers in the Toyota Noah. An 18-year-old female. She is currently a student at the Sam Sharp Teachers College in Montego Bay and she's living at Belmont in the parish of Westmoreland. This female, she was sitting directly behind the driver Delroy Radney when the incident took place. The female, she received injuries and she was rushed to the Savannah Lamar Hospital by a passing motorist. We are told that doctors at the hospital, they are awaiting the result of a Brain scan to determine whether or not the female will be released from hospital today. We are told that she received injuries but she's improving nicely. Let's hope that there is no long lasting injuries. Also, that lady on your screen and that gentleman, they died in the accident. Now, the lady's name is Miss Angela Stewart. She was 65 years old. What I didn't know is that the gentleman beside her is her son. His name is O'Neill Allen, but he was known as Dummy. And this is not the first time. Tragedy has affected this family. That lady on your screen. Her name is Mrs. Jodian Samuels Spence. She was 32 years old on Sunday. May 9, 2021. Jodian, she was a chef and she lived at Springfield in the Sheffield area of Westmoreland. Well, Jodian is Miss Angela's daughter and Domi's sister. Jodian, she's also from the farm area, but she was living in the Springfield area of Westmoreland with her husband and her children. We are told that Jodian, she had bought a pair of shoes for her daughter who was supposed to be doing PEP exam on Monday, May 10, 2021. But the pair of shoes was either too big or too
too small. So, early in the morning of Sunday, May 9, Mother's Day, Jodian, she took a bike and she went and exchanged the pair of shoes because Jodian, she wanted her daughter to feel comfortable in the PEP exam. Jodian, at the time, she was about seven months pregnant. She was on a bike heading back home when the motorcycle that she was on met in an accident. Jodian, her unborn baby, and the man who was driving the bike, they ended up dying. Sad indeed for this family. Now, in another video, I'm going to be telling you about another of the persons that died and a female who was a close family member who was killed by hoodlums. Stand by. Sad indeed. Now, in this next story, this one looked like another Canadian got tricked. This Canadian, he's now battling for life in hospital. Now, I know I have a lot of viewers and subscribers in Canada. Persons in Canada. You would have seen what happened to the restaurant owner from Canada in the parish of Clarendon the other day, right? Please. Spread the word. We are told that yesterday afternoon, about minutes to 3 o'clock, persons in the Kent Avenue area of Montego Bay, near to the airport, they saw a man in bushes. This man, he was stiff, torn, naked, and bleeding from his head. The police, they were notified. The Montego Bay Fire Department, they were also called in, and they cut open a section of the fence and went in. It was observed that the man who gave his name as Jason, and I won't say his surname as yet, but Jason is about 30 years old and he's living in Toronto, Canada. Jason, he had multiple machete wounds to his head. We are told that Jason, he could speak, but he was unable to say who chopped him up and dumped him at that spot. Jason, he was transported to a nearby hospital where he was admitted in a very, very serious condition. In fact, we are told that Jason, he told investigators that he had to pretend like he was dead. That's why the chopping to his head stopped. I have my suspicion. Yeah, man, I have my suspicion, but I'm awaiting more details. In the meantime, let's hope that Jason, he survived. Because I want him to go back to Canada to tell other men to avoid Jamaican men. Are you following me? <clears throat> In this next story, this one took place last night, about minutes to 12 midnight. It took place at Jerusalem Mountain in the Grangeville area of Westmoreland. We are told that a couple and their five-year-old daughter, they were at home sleeping when they heard knocking on the back door. The guy who is in his mid-twenties, he got up and he peeped outside. Some guys were seen in the yard and they were armed with guns. The guy and his family, they hid in different sections of the house. The hoodlums on the outside, they opened gunfire in the house. Luckily, the occupants who were in the house, they were not hit. The hoodlums, they then made good their escape in a waiting motor car. The mayhem. Now, in this next story, we are told that this guy, he has not yet been identified, but he's from either Kingston or the parish of St. Catherine. This guy, he was living at an area where squatting is taking place at Flamingo Beach near to the Scarlet Hall area of Trelawney. This guy, he's of a dark complexion, medium built and about 5 feet 9 inches tall. He appeared to be in his early 30s. Now, yesterday afternoon, Tuesday, November 14, about 5 o'clock, he was dressed in a blue jeans shorts, a white marina, a blue black and grey polo shirt and a pair of brown clark shoes. He was walking along Market Street in the Falmouth area of Trelawney. On reaching the vicinity of the main gate at the 
Falmouth Market. Alone Hoodlum approached the guy with a gun in his hand. The Hoodlum, he opened gunfire, hitting him several times to his head and his upper body. The guy, he fell to the ground and the Hoodlum, he ran off and jumped into a waiting motor car, making good his escape. The guy who was shot, he ended up dying on the spot. We are told that the police were informed and when they processed this crime scene, eight 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. Now, as soon as I get this guy's identity, I'm going to be updating this story. The mayhem. Now, in this next story, I carried a story on Sunday, October 29. It was about the death of that female on your screen. Her name is Shanice Burke, but she was popularly known as Shan. Shan was born on October 20, 1996, 27 years old, and she's originally from St. Margaret's Bay in the parish of Portland. But Shan, she was living at Hague in the parish of Trelawney. Shan's badly decomposed body was found on the ground of the road at Foreshore Road in Falmouth in the parish of Trelawney. Now, when I carried the story, I had said that someone must have killed Shan. Carried her in a vehicle and dumped her at the spot where she was found. And I was correct. But before I tell you about that, I did some digging. And what I found out was that Shan, her mouth not joined church. We are told that Shan, she was very feisty and she disrespect anybody, anytime and anywhere. As a result, she did not stay in one job for long. She did not live at any one place for long. She moved around a lot. We are also told that Shan, she had a lot of man friends and she not play stocky. You know what that means, right? Well, the narrative was that Shan, she went out for her birthday and she was not seen since then. Even the police, they were going along with that narrative until they made a breakthrough. And as it turns out, it was Shan's landlord, a 23-year-old security guard named Aston Mitchell, otherwise known as CJ who killed Shan and he was the one who started that narrative that she went out for her birthday and did not return. We are told that CJ, he was picked up by police investigators on Saturday, November 11. And when the police presented CJ with certain evidence, he confessed. Yeah man, CJ, he confessed. He told the police that Wednesday night, October 25. He and Shan were at the house in Hague when an argument developed with both of them. He told the police that Shan used some fiesty words to him. He told the police that he used a knife to inflict a serious wound to her neck and she fell to the ground and did not move. When he realized, yeah man, when CJ realized that Shan was dead, he picked her up, placed her in a vehicle and dumped her body where it was found three days later. So, 23-year-old Aston Mitchell, also known as CJ, he has been charged for murder and he'll be going to the courts shortly. The mayhem. The me so, let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to hit on it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button as also. Hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we drop a new video, you will be the first to be notified. In the final story for today, this one has fight over land and fight over dead left written all over it. On January 21, earlier this year, I carried a story. There it is on your screen. 
It's titled, Mom Said It's Sheldon Who Should Be in Jail for the Death of His Brother Jimmy, Not My Son Lemon. Maybe you watched that video before, or maybe you haven't. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to replay some parts of that story. I'm also going to be playing a part of the chat I had with Lemon's mother. And then I'm going to be giving you the latest update. Listen to this. On the early morning of Thursday, January 19, 2023, at minutes after 12 midnight, the man on your screen, his name is Michael Brown, but he was popularly known as Jimmy. Jimmy is 48 years old and he lived at Waterford in England. Jimmy was shot and killed at Love Lane in Miketown and the outskirts of Mandeville in the parish of Manchester. The allegations are that Jimmy, he was in an unfinished section of a house in the community when a gunman entered and opened gunfire, hitting him, killing Jimmy on the spot. Now, the police, they were called in and they commenced investigations. The police, they then released statements saying that Jimmy, he was killed because of a war among family members over family land, or I should say, dead left land. The police also reported that they took two family members of Jimmy into police custody. Now, on Thursday of this week, there was an article in the Jamaica Observer. It says, a Manchester man has been charged with the January 19 murder of his brother who had been visiting from the United Kingdom. The deceased has been identified as 48-year-old UK resident Michael Brown. Police theorized that an alleged family dispute over land and houses was a possible motive in the killing of Brown in my town in the parish. Charged with murder is 38-year-old Lemon Brown, a carpenter and resident of Love Lane in my town. Now, the question is, the question is, are Lemon Brown and Michael Brown, also known as Jimmy, are they brothers? Were Lemon Brown and Jimmy really fighting over house and land? Now, I'm going to be having a discussion with the mother of Lemon Brown. I want you to listen carefully to what she has to say. Listen carefully because this is very, very important. The question is, is the wrong man in police custody? Is the man who killed Jimmy out on the street? What, what's, your what, what's, what's your name? Dan Dixon. Dan Dixon? Yeah. Okay. And I'm the mother, I'm the mother of Lemon Brown. The phone not coming through clearly. You are the mother of Lemon Brown? Brown, yeah. So where is Lemon Brown now? Lemon Brown is at the lockup for Sheldon Brown. Right now. Because Sheldon Brown murdered his brother and they put Lemon Brown behind bar for it. Hold on a bit, hold on. You are saying that Lemon Brown is in lockup in in where Manchester? Yes, in Manchester cell. He's in jail because who gets a murder? Who? Brother murder, brother. That's Sheldon Brown. Sheldon Brown murder who? Michael. Brown. Michael Brown, otherwise called Jimmy. Yeah. Yeah. So where is where where is Sheldon Brown now? Sheldon Brown is out. Cause I get to era three yesterday. And Era Tree said, no more city, I get a lawyer and this is the lawyer talk. The witness is Sheldon Brown saying that murder is brother. So why are you saying it's Sheldon Brown who murdered him brother? Because that is my aunt. I'm I'm Sheldon Brown somebody. You are Sheldon Brown. Um, you are Sheldon Brown what? Um Sheldon I must call Sheldon Brown mother. Aunt. Oh, Sheldon Brown mother is your aunt, yes? Yes. Uh -huh. So, look what the confusion is about. Sheldon Brown mother bail my son Lemon Brown. Sheldon Brown brother, what does Sheldon Brown do? My aunt, that mm. is Sheldon Brown mother. Yes. Bail my, my son. In bail your son? Brown. Yes, Lemon Brown. 
two years now. Okay. What 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 was your what was your son charged for that time when she bailed him? Gun then second. They was charged for gun, yes? Yes. Ye yes. Until now they every time they say gun and they're not having a gun on him, they just charge him for free what I don't know. No ma yes, alright. You say he was charged for gun and your your yes. aunt bailed him. Yes. And what happened after? And Sheldon Brown was wasn't here because the, the aunt of six sons, six people, one died. The first one died. So, for at broad, he was here with his mother. But you know what? He tried to kill his mother. Who tried to kill his mother? Sheldon Brown. Yes. So, police have Sheldon Brown looking for Sheldon Brown. Two years now, for putting something to um, his mother for his mother for her money. Mm -hmm. So because all the women come and rob the, the mother money, so the last time he come in take twenty nine fifty thousand five until his mother say at in a time he did no. So a diabel turn in it so the mother was to pluck him iron run come and fill the house for silver make it. So oh. we bring the mother to the station. That was two years ago? Yes. Mm -hmm. So he never around not at all. So I was here bringing the mother to the doctor. The mother did get all shake up and put it. Yes. The mother get, was to be a little fama. Case that way, he attacked a girl to rape him. Never get to rape the girl, but the mother go and be a little for 50 ton deal. Mm -hmm. I get here to be another guy that named Henry. For station be him, another one did a fight. So when they call the mother to say they have a summon team because of dealing a person. They never show the mother. So me follow the mother now. So when me follow the mother go at the station over the arm, put up his nose to find the other man what's happened. When I go, I see Sheldon Brown and the mother bail bail pan. So the mother will say, I wonder if it's not my son that he bailed, because he bailed my son from the bank. He never be on my son on that station be. So when he got here, it was Sheldon Brown. So me the deal another one from station be the same way. And the child they locked up me and the mother that day, that Monday. So what the, the persons who you bail never go back to court, so them lock on up faith, faith, because the person them abs can bail? Yes. Okay. So by that now, the mother was shaking because of Sheldon Brown. Me call, me tell him mother say call the sister that they locked up for seven days too. Cause they say the sister, I am my son to kill Jimmy. Mm -hmm. So they locked her. That was from that time, from long time. No, this this this, this is the story now. Okay. They say Anne Marie Brown get my son to to kill Jimmy. Yes. Jimmy was living in England, right? In the, in the UK, yes. Yeah. And why, why did and, and Jimmy Jimmy is your auntie son? Yes. So what? Uh, your auntie your auntie is dead? Yes. And they said Jimmy come to bury her. That's right. Jimmy come by the funeral because the, the sister the um in the USA as she come to bury her because the auntie give me the thing now to give. She So when did Jimmy come to Jamaica, you know? Jimmy come to Jamaica um, and Delta Graham Berry Day. Sunday and Jimmy come the Friday. How long ago? How long ago? Jimmy never, um, what you call that day, you know? The Friday, the 15, the 15 was the burial. So Jimmy come before the 15. 15 that what? December? The 15, uh, um, January. No, Friday, the Friday was the 13th, wasn't the 15th? The Friday was the 13th. Alright, well, and there is a buried 15. Oh, so she buried the Sunday? Friday. Okay. Yes. 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 And so, Jimmy come, and what them say your, your daughter do? My son. Mm -hmm. My son went down and locked up for Jimmy. No, because of Sheldon came in. The, 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 the witness was, the witness is here. But why the witness don't want to come forward that are the, in the yard? They have Sheldon out. Because the witness see Sheldon and his brother going up to the 
other brother out there, that brother in USA. He's mm-hmm. not in Jimmy house, Jimmy murder, no. He's in the other brother house. Who Sheldon Brown have a key for that door? He thought the police says it's four people person. One door to the one door to the house, no more. Mm-hmm. And four gunmen come to attack you. To attack two of us in the house then. Then how you escape from full gunman and the gunman come and give your brother so one execute him on the wall. So who is it who, who is it who is it that escaped? Sheldon Brown. So Sheldon was in the house with his brother Jimmy. Yes. I uh, bring him up there. He take him out his house, say him and go back. We an house for reason. Mm-hmm. But the reason we want to go about is because the sister that come from the USA signed the paper that he, he take away for the burial. And much as that in the, the auntie house, he saw him, he was sleeping in his mother house when he come. Mm-hmm. Jim Sheldon was sleeping in his mother house. Jimmy go on the other side, but the house belongs to Jimmy. It don't belong to Sheldon. Mm-hmm. That is the two brothers. The other side belongs to Anne Marie Brown. The bottom house belongs to Sheldon Brown. The middle part belongs to Jimmy Brown. That, so that, that is that is one o- that is one house or different different house. All right, one of the house. It, 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 it's the mechanic, you know, but it is all. Oh, okay. Yes. So it's three house here. Mm-hmm. The auntie have five O's. Mm-hmm. Five O's. So, Don Bill is four O's on the top of the hill. We then leave him out and finish going up for him. And then it has finish up with an house. Rent it. Call me to clean up. Rent it up there. Rent. I never know that the tenant leave, you know. Of when Jimmy did, I know that the tenant. Sheldon give the tenant notice from the house because he say the tenant cannot park his bike in the yard, in the where Andrew used to make the tenant go. Mm-hmm. And when Jimmy died, he realized that uh, in uh, that house, Sheldon bring Jimmy and kill him. So you heard that. Well, Lemon, he's still facing murder charges, re the death of Jimmy. But what we are learning is that. Many, many people in the community is still of the belief that it was Sheldon who killed Jimmy. It is also being said that Sheldon, he made certain utterances when he was drunk under his liquor. It is also said that Sheldon, he was moving to take over more of the property and he had threatened family members living overseas that if them ever come back to Jamaica and try to own up anything, them ago dead. Well, Sheldon, he himself is now dead. There is Sheldon Brown on your screen. He was 48 years old and he lived at Mike Town in the parish of Manchester. We are learning that Saturday night, November 11, about some minutes to 11 o'clock. Sheldon and a guy who is said to be his relative and who Sheldon was involved in a land dispute with. They had an argument. A machete was brought into play and the guy, he inflicted some serious wounds to Sheldon. Sheldon was rushed to hospital where he was admitted in a serious condition. But on Sunday, November 12th, Sheldon, he succumbed to his injuries. More to come. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend for tell a friend for tell a friend about Papa News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. With silver sin, if we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. Jamaica, criminal. 
girls, them a mash up Jamaica. Jamaicans mash up Jamaica. Oh, Jamaica, me sweet Jamaica. I could have sunshine or rain, Jamaica. No problem, no pain. Good boy, them no go can't tear. But me want me country back, give me me country back. To the street and the lane. Everybody, them start complain. Bloodshed, what a shame, what a shame. But me want me country back, give me me country back. Jamaica, oh Jamaica, me sweet Jamaica. Crime it a 